Ah, screw it. I'm gonna use my <laughs> my uh, use my intro. Yo, guys, I'm Toto, and uh, welcome to another achievement tutorial video, which is going to be uh, why die for Danzig. I don't know why I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> So in order to do Why Die for Danzig, we need to make France fascist, or they just had to be fascist, and we need to own Danzig. So, I mean, this is pretty simple, really. And I'll be showing you how to, I mean, I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible, because it's like what I like to do. Do these achievements as fast as possible. I should really go back and try to do some, uh, I should update some of my achievements too, like uh, some of the older ones to do them for the new, the new DLC and stuff. Alright, so we're not going to be choosing any focuses at the beginning. Just choose your standard germ, uh, research for Germany. Is that, usually. And we're only be, we're going to be building mills in all these 70 areas. That way we can get lots of military factors early. Yep, no, no focus. For this, we're going to get all into guns. Actually, we're just going to put everything into guns. Then we're going to get artillery, support equipment, tanks motorized the planes are fine we don't really need to worry too much about planes because i mean poland doesn't have any planes and your navy doesn't really matter honestly but hey you can do whatever you want with your navy this is gonna be more of a we won't have to do with the french navy only be the british so should be pretty easy that way also i apologize if the uh the generals don't like because the animal uh, anime portraits kind of throw it off i don't know why i said animal uh, but um I'm choosing Von Lieb for the first one, I usually go for uh, Witzelbund for the second one, and for the third one I go for Mantufu with uh, Von Kluj to be the uh, Field Marshal. We're going to be switching our motorized into a Panzer Division right off the bat, and we're not going to choose a Field Marshal for our attack. Okay, once our armies have joined together, we're going to switch these guys to a, an Infantry Division and train don't know why it's only letting me train 20, 21. You're usually able to train 22. I don't know why it's not letting me, but you should train 22 of these guys. Okay, so once you're at 50, uh, 50 political power, you want to just fight on Poznan. Set your uh, divisions that you're deploying. Set them to have the priority when it comes to de uh, equipment deployment so that they always get it first. And don't forget to choose a focus, preferably Rhineland, so you can get the political power. Once they have enough training, just quick deploy them. They should be... It'll be fine with that. Once all your units are deployed, except one because I forgot about that one division to deploy. <laughs> Just give him enough to uh, give him over 20%. That way he'll deploy once he gets that much. All right, rounds finished. We're going to go completely into our industry. And first thing we're grabbing is Martin Borman for the political power. All right, so you, once your division is ready to deploy in. Uh, few days. Deploy them to the front and set them all to shift left click to exercise until regulars and make sure reinforcements is getting the all the equipment. All right, so now that we have enough we're going to get the war industrials. All right, next we'll choose aut autarky for the construction speed and stuff. Oh, speaking of construction speed. Don't choose one, we, we will leave the, the boost for getting these two. Let's start for this, we'll want to get the, the support equipment. When you get 75 uh, plug bar, do not choose the captain of industry, we won't be using him. Alright, so you want to put all your planes over Poland, uh, over in this, in Nydersleisen, and put them all, well, I, I usually put them all the 800, but you can choose whatever you want. Once the focus is finished, we're just going to go full into industry, so grabbing the sieves and stuff like that. And for political power at this point, seeing our war goal is so close, we were wanting to grab the infantry expert. Alright, and since our infantry equipment has maxed out, like it's, it's above, uh, I should have done this earlier, when, when you've completed the stockpile, drop 5 from your, from your infantry equipment so there's 20 factories on it. That way you can start supplying out the things that you're missing, like support equipment and artillery. And since we have enough, now we can promote Feder von Bock, and we'll, we will give him Offensive Doctrine, Organization Expert, and Charismatic. This will give us a 6 Attack General. Uh, Field Marshal, sorry. Alright, so now that po our justification for Poznan is finished, we'll stop training these guys and let them entrench. Alright, so now we will declare war. 
Anyway, planes should be over over Poland now. We will just give them some ground crews. Okay, so what we want to do, move this guy here, you here, and you here. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, whatever. There we go. We've taken Danzig and we'll just close this pocket. And since we have army experience, we're going to want to switch our cavalry to 20 width cavalry. And remove the support equipment. Just that. And put a lower thing on it. The reason why is we're going to be switching our garrisons to these for the extra higher policing. And switch your switch your uh, enforcement over to local police force. Oh, they just stopped them on the just barely before capitulating. Okay, that'll give us a little barrier against the Soviets. We won't be doing the Malta ruin drop back. So, all right. So let's put you there. Uh, you here. What we'll be doing now is deploying two army groups when we can for Czechoslovakia. All right, so now with that done, we're going to have the MIFO bills in a moment. So we're not, so let's start our agencies. So we'll do, we'll take 10 to do our localized training center. Now it's gonna ask for that. Now you'll have, yeah. So that, that, the reason why I did that is because it will now take 10 from the consumers and we'll take them away from that. So we'll still be able to, do, we wouldn't have been able to do it if I didn't do it beforehand. All right, so here's the second part of the achievement that we're going to be doing today. I actually forgot to announce it. We're going to be doing shaken, not stirred. So having a seducer within the, like a, a, if you have a seducer and you perform a coup d'etat, you're going to be able to get it that way. All right, so now that the training centers are finished, we will grab our intelligence we want to grab one from France All right, so let's keep doing our intelligence so we get to five all right mutual bill payments are gone so now we can do the Reichsautobahn and on this we're going to do I think I'm going to do air superiority instead of I usually do the naval one but I think I'm going to do air superiority this time Focus entirely on my air and ground forces. All right, so now we have 150 political power. We're going to switch the military uh, industrialist to the elusive gentleman, and we're going to start building civilian factories in the 80s that we left behind. So the elusive gentleman will give us an extra operative, which is what we're wanting. We're wanting three of them. I'll be switching this guy to be one that isn't. Unless I get a second seducer, I will. I'll be switching this guy to a person who will boost propaganda in, in France. All right, so actually, that's a pretty good guy there. This one also has a uh, has seducer. We only oh, have three seducers. I'll choose Schultz, why not? That's all Schultz will be our ideological man. So he'll start boosting fascism and we need to get them to at least, at least 20%, but 25 and higher are better, so. We'll having we'll be having two people on the on boosting for fascism. Now the Autobahn's finished. We're gonna do a German war economy. Just get that early war economy. Well, I guess it's kind of early. All right, so war economy is done. We're gonna be doing the army innovations. We're gonna we're pretty much just gonna I'm I'm just gonna do a treaty with the USSR and then go then go for Anschluss, even though I can do it now. Oh yeah, one thing I one make uh, mistake I made during my little test run is not upgrading these light tank divisions up to what they should be which is 20 wits all right so with the construction of my fifth agency i was able to get a third person which i'm going to be choosing i don't sadly germany doesn't seem to get any ideological people so i'll just be choosing this guy who will do that and then the next agency we want to get is the i, I mean i should have got this one this is one you should always get first all right, so the popularity of fascism in in, in France is going up around by four and a half. Yeah, it looks about like 4.5. So we'll probably leave it until it gets up to 30%. All 
I got lucky this thing, this game because no one, none of my operatives have gotten captured yet. But now that I've said it, I'm sure they're gonna get captured now. Right, so now that our bigger divisions are finished, we will put on. This is a good general. Someone, maybe like you, Kessel Ring is kind of good. But who's a general? Who's a general? And I'd never use. How about Jodel? <laughs> Why not? We'll choose Dodal. We're going to modify the division since we have some more exper experience and now we're going to add on some cavalry, uh, some anti-air. Oh yeah, our mills, we're going to want to pump a few onto anti-air because we'll need a lot of that. This is what my industry looks like right now. I'm going to be, after my artillery, I'm going to be, actually probably after this, I'm going to research my tanks. So we'll grab the Panzer III and since they're Stability is so high, I can just grab improved worker conditions. Grab our next doctrine. And with the anti tank, grab the next guns. One thing I also forgot to put on top was armored cars, so we'll need to put them up there too. The next thing we'll research is probably military police just for the extra suppression. Looks like we have some people meddling in our nation. Alright, so how's France now? 29%. Which means that they are almost ready. Once they get 30%, we'll switch it over to the coup d'etat, and they should that should trigger by next year. There we go. So Dayline is ours. We now do the Vienna Award. And we will pop the next 100 onto our next medium tank, and then switch to probably... Probably, yeah. Construction 3. Uh, construction three. And for that, we will put on... Well, we didn't start researching planes yet, but I'll get the Naval Aircraft Designer. And so we're getting a little bit low on manpower, but I'm going to create our my usual go-to Coastal Garrison Division. This is what I use to protect my coasts, usually. There's this kind of division, and I'll upgrade it later. I'll probably use this. But I'm not able to deploy them because I don't have enough manpower yet. We're not going to do that, we'll grab our dockyards, because we can. Put you onto that guy, pop your own front line, and Schultz, why not? Alright, so France is at 30%, uh, almost. Well, oh, they really slowed me, it's like 1.5 now. Because I don't have enough coverage and infiltration. Alright, so 30%, that should be more than enough. Our guy for boosting stopped. All right, so now we will make. So now we need we need to build at seventy percent. I don't know why he stopped. Maybe I grabbed the wrong guy. So, okay, so we'll choose a seducer, and we'll choose Eliza Bazna, who's, who's the guy who's, uh, yeah, better. Last time I chose it here in Alsace, honestly, I might choose in Bacardi. There we go. Bacardi might be good. Why? No. I'm not signing that because you're going to do something stupid, Japan. I'm going to have to join you. Hmm, I wonder what that stupid thing could be. <laughs> Try to complete Plan Z while we wait for this, uh... This coup to finish. Well, to start, actually. Not even finish, just start. I have a lot- There's 41 fascism in here, out in the world. They must have started cracking down communism when it was so high and it just drove the fascism up. <gasps> oh! Oh! I got it! What? I got it! They gave me Slovenia! And they actually gave it to me? I didn't know you could actually get it legit. Like, in historical. I didn't know that. 59 days. Yo, guys, can you kill Italy, please? Just naval invade Palermo or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that works. War's over. And look at that. World tension went down. And Aust Austria exists again. <laughs> Oh, 
Cool. Now I have army access. Agent force into hiding. Okay, this is what I wanted. This is good. And do they still have it? They still have destroying the government. That's good. Okay, so volunteers. How many? Can I can send five. Uh, there. Move them. You. We'll go here. Ho hopefully, you'll go to Nord Pass de Calais. It's gonna be like 20,000. That's 200,000, not 20, not 200,000, just, yeah. Once, once, I'll send you a thousand and a thousand. Boom. Okay, spawn down here now. Spawn down here. Please spawn down here. You spawned up here. Uh, fuck it, I don't care. Okay, so now we're in the good part of this, is actually we're fighting for France, and since we have 40 wits, we should be able to, be able to actually obliterate any divisions we come across, because France sucks. We just need to get to Paris. Split there, you're going there, yep. You go there, you go there. You go here, you go here, you go here. Yep, just keep going. Okay, we took Paris. There we go. And now they have their... Now they have their focus tree. That should be the achievement. We caused a coup with the, with the seducer. That should be the first achievement. And now we have a France who's fascist. We did not go to war with. And we own Danzig. That should be the second achievement. It, it was a little bit roundabout, but it, it worked. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this, hopefully you found this useful. A little bit roundabout. I kind of spent most of my time doing like things like, I don't know, things you wouldn't normally do, like building up your navy, making a ton of divisions that I'm not going to use. But yeah, the 40 wits seem to work. I used sent my tanks last time in my practice run, which they were the same 12 wits. Like they were just the, like this, the ones you start with. And yeah, they didn't do well, so. <laughs> That's my fault for not actually, you know, building proper di That's not, that's my fault for not actually fielding proper divisions. Like I said, that, okay, that's pissing me off, but. All right, so yeah, that's each, that's both achievements. The uh, Shaken Not Stirred and Why Die for Danzig. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a, leave a like if, you, I don't know why I was still gonna say that's something weird. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Whenever I make another uh, Oi4 achievement video, I guess.